One of the first sequences you look at in an intro real analysis class is probably this one, 1 over n. You might know it as the harmonic sequence. We want to show this converges to zero, that it has a limit of zero. Now you probably already know this if you've taken a calc 2 class, or maybe even a calc 1 class. If you take the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n, this is in fact zero. Right? You just think that the bottom's going faster than the top. 1 over infinity is like zero. But knowing this to be true and proving it are two different things. If we want to prove it, we need to use the definition of sequence convergence. What is that? It's for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a capital N in the natural numbers such that for all little n greater than capital N, the absolute value of the difference of the sequence in its limit is less than epsilon. Wow, that's a mouthful. That's a lot. Let's break it down. We need to start with any epsilon, so we just let epsilon greater than zero. This is how I start. Now we need to find, we need to show that there exists some capital N such that for all little n greater than or greater than or equal to, depending on who you're talking to, greater than that capital N, the following happens. The absolute value of the sequence, 1 over n, and its limit, 0, is less than epsilon. I want stuff less than epsilon. That's what I want to show. And so the way I do this is I just start working with this. You know, subtracting 0, that's not going to do anything. Well, look at this. n starts at 1 and goes to infinity. These are all going to be positive values. The absolute value of something positive is just itself. I don't really, I don't really need this, do I? And so when I have something like this, where I just have the 1 over n and the epsilon, I go off to the side and do some scrap work, maybe on the back of a piece of paper. And when I'm doing this, I'm going to work with this inequality, 1 over n less than epsilon, but I'm going to use capital N here. This is the way that I think about it. So 1 over n less than epsilon. This is what I'm assuming. You could rewrite this and say that 1 over epsilon is less than n. How would you know such an n exists? Well, basically the Archimedean principle, the Archimedean law. No matter what epsilon is, providing epsilon is positive, and we are providing that, you can find a natural number then it's bigger than, right? The natural numbers are unbounded, so given any epsilon, you should find some n. And this is what we're going to decide. So you could just say, take n, n in the naturals, where n is greater than 1 over epsilon. And then, then let little n greater than n, and we're going to have this. Now one thing to note, since little n is greater than capital N, I mean, doesn't that mean the exact same thing as 1 over little n is less than 1 over capital N? I think it does. I think I'll just put that right here. 1 over n is less than 1 over capital N. And by my little scrap work, we have it right here. Since 1 over epsilon is less than n, then 1 over n is less than epsilon. Maybe I left a little bit too much of a gap here but 1 over n is in fact less than epsilon, and hey, there we have it. We have that for epsilon greater than zero, there exists an n such that for all n greater than that n, the absolute value of the difference of our sequence and its limit is less than epsilon. We did it, we proved it, fantastic. This technique will carry over to many, many different types of limit proofs. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can go ahead and click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the Real Analysis course.